it could have to some level of a control with uh dependent on the front line that that is only going to be the marsh so on liga team it's pretty much a solved issue oh. on rest farmers you gotta be hold really up careful. there's already impact five this v5 matchup has already happened hands can looking pretty low shad is locked in the disruption for a little while and the long range fire spirits are coming up hand skin is burning and there's the first blood ladies and gentlemen already pentamen will manage it's a lot of beast fights coming out. They are only level 2, but they're already exchanging a lot of right picks. Yeah, and a lot of spells at the same time. Hanskin already throwing around a lot of the Wave of Terror. And there was this, the magic missile already fl uh, flying back and forth. It does allow for a lot of safety for the Luna, which she definitely needs. But it's not that scary of a lane, unless she gets caught up at the wrong position. There's the disruption popping off, Will Spear throwing in, throwing her into the trees. Or if timing it correctly, you can just start throwing her towards the tower and oh, they're gonna have a contest. Apparently something of that sort has happened. Shad lo lost his life. I, I completely missed out on Heroes for a second. I thought Pablo was playing on the side of Liga because the dot... <laughs> okay. Yeah, the Dark Willow would have been a little bit better. To, fav uh, to call out versus the Luna and Vengeful Spirit here, uh, you will need to call out her against. Oh, well, maybe for a potential kill onto the Disruptor. That's not what you God said. Uh, Let's try much Demon. Of, Shadow Demon. Uh, pretty much what you said uh, can apply to, 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 to the Dark Below, I mean, as Farmers as well. Um, on on our rest farmers you gotta be you know uh having some lane issues maybe the lane is gonna be pushing way too far in under the tier one tower by liga team and you can make a rotation with the dark below and and you, i think you got oh, oh. If solo key, are you serious? <laughs> almost the tower oh god damn it nice rotation from 1j agentic that was a little bit of an overextension gotten i think the only <clears throat> team i've seen so far, having a little bit more of an early rotation before that six minute mark into the lanes was bait. And there were four minute rotations, twin gates already used up, but it always it comes down to how much you want to give into one lane, potentially lose on the other. Uh, having the brewmaster left alone for a little while could be a little bit more rewarding, but at the same time, you do have Ramsey scaling up. Oh, god damn it. Bottom rotation. From Rabel. Yeah, speaking of uh, jungling, there's I, there's already some movement from 1G around that bottom uh, bottom triangle with the Ancients, so probably they're already waiting up for the Coddle to take them down, unless Rust Farmers have some sort of a lucky, lucky chance to f catch them first. But speaking of, oh, hold up, Hanskin versus 1G, a support matchup, and Hanskin is going to be bursted into Smitherine, something that the Queen of Pain is not really favorable of. Turns around, takes down 1J, and it's a good kill for the Queen of Pain. But speaking of the Coddle, do you remember how annoying that Mana Drain was? Oh, I love that. They, yeah, I, it was, I miss it as well. <laughs> it was it's even toxic. included while Pablo goes down. It was even no. included with the Shard, I believe, with the edition for a while after after it was removed. Yeah, it might have been back. I mean, I did a hiccup a couple of days ago on stream, thinking that there was still a chance for you to somehow obtain it. But <laughs> apparently, it, it would have been brilliant versus Medusa place. Agentic, Sonic Wave is going to pop through Ramses, but he's going to be alive and well focused on to taking down the Brewmaster. And boom, down he goes along with finding some very juicy Ancient stacks on the side. Throwing her damage back at her, we did see see it flourish during the uh, during the laning stage. At this point, the lanes have been broken. We're ten minutes into play, and so far things are looking pretty stable for Liga. They are rotating aggressively uh, across the map. How do you think they can keep this up? It's looking really really positive so far, and I was hope thinking that rest farmers are going to be one to have the early pick up. Ajante aggressive. There's the Sonic wave, but. This guy survived, the blood grenade is gonna start taking oh, no. the hell. HP is going down and he will be blown to smithereens. Pantomim decides to show up to the party a little bit too late. Oh, the terrorize did not go off there. Pablo cancelled it, died instead. Oh god. And 1J claims an additional kill. Hanskin was, you know. Hanskin. Like he finds him somewhere lurking into the woods. Oh, guess what? I'm gonna blow, uh, blow you down in smithereens, throw you into a disruption, stack a bunch of poisons, and boom, down you go. Mid lane, Rebel, Ajantic, they are fighting it off. The Supernova is gonna connect though. 
but it's nothing to be fearful of. Oh, the primal split is gonna go off into the arena, and it's only Xibe left by himself. He will be able to run off with one illusion back to safety, so it's not that big of a collateral unless Liga have a way to catch on. The Icarus dive will connect, and oh, there's the disruption. Looking like a dead, dead end for sure. Of course, everybody else from Rest Farmers decided to run away. I mean, they didn't run away, actually, they were taken down. Queen of Pain died, the Dark Willow died. It's a so far 13 on. Your go to setup for, for yeah, a at this the point. Usual, it's the usual play also. Yeah. And I really love how League are playing this game because, uh, as I described uh, previously, Rest Farmers, once they are crossing the river, I don't really feel like they are that confident anymore. Um, and not having the proper utilities, the items just yet to take the fight on the enemy side of the map, and Liga is just pretty disciplined. They don't really oh. force any... Oh! <laughs> Hunt skin. Wow. Yeah. Another there was an Rest Farmers, aside from positioning themselves properly on the map at this point, they will need to work around. Oh, there could be something good, though. In their favor, they will find a Keeper of the Light all by himself. And instantly give the kill to a Jontic. But still, yeah. uh, scavenge that they, they found, found the keeper of the light pretty much secluded. That the game is rewarding. It's rest farmers, ever since they are not crossing the river, they are finding some of these potential kills and finally bringing down Rabel. It's gonna oh. buy them time. Never mind, they are fast again crossing that river. They I mean, it's stop. Pablo, Twi it's 21 minute wisdom rune attempt for a snatch. And Plus, I mean, in his defense, Liga walked in there with five, but meanwhile, Ramses did manage to secure one for his team. Sonic Wave will pop up, but <laughs> he's a queen of pain right now. I'm just gonna take this blink out and just blink away back to safety. He's actually and dead. He is? No. And causing a little bit of havoc. And that's the big question here. At the ver You know you cannot really uh, push. I mean, you can't possibly push against a... a, a uh, what's his face? Aluna. But the Queen of Pain is the one thing that is still super scary uh, for this uh, for this lineup. And the Aegis oh, as well no. expired, but they are gonna find her nice <gasps> last second swap from Hyanskin. He will risk his life. BKB is also gonna be popped up. But she was looking at death. Sibe. Oh god. All by himself. One. Oh, it's gonna, he's actually gonna survive. He, did, did, they, did they see each other? Oh, it's gonna be a cyclone. I can see the icon just rotating. So, <laughs> he will find safe passage back home, but Shad will not, as he is found in the mid lane all by himself, farming and pushing and trying to salvage whatever he can at this point. As Lee pretty kind enough to give this crewmaster uh, the title of at least the support, but oh, so oh, look at Chad. Chad Ramses, he is finding him. Nice swap from Hanskin, but he will be taken down easily. There are all five there as Liga. You do have the Queen of Pain in the spotlight, Agentic. Only BKB is keeping him alive. The Sunray through the Supernova is gonna burst him to smithereens. Only three on the defense lines. Oh, BP, he will do the arena spear. Chad, BKB is gonna take him across. Uh, the arena, but still, that is not stopping the pushing power of Liga, who have. Oh, oh god, my damn god. It. That. He was almost at full HP, just got blasted off. Shad got taken out out of the fountain. This is active harassment with a spice of bullying, which, yeah, Rest Farmers, they call it GG. It's a little bit too much punishing. 30, 31 minutes, though. It was a solid game, but still. The draft did not work out in the way they were hoping for. It was just a slowly cooking. You got some nice escape abilities as well. You know, you find. But it's just yeah. insane. Three times in a row, he almost died on the spot. <laughs> oh, he he's for a reason a five-time major uh, finalist. So he's once again performing to high oh. standards. Oh, one J. Yeah, there was the first blood. A deep dive from Shad and Hanskin. And it's gonna be 1J, who has been wreaking havoc with the Shadow Demon in the previous game, who will be claimed as First Blood. He's just standing at the edge of the tower range and just harassing the hell out of uh, Siva at this point. But yeah, there was... Uh, I was looking at the minimap at one point, because there was the health pop popping back and forth. 
Rabel is actively doing this, and you are super enabled to be annoying uh, with the timber saw because the primal beast is still not there. You know, you can be annoying. You have all of these small cooldown spells, and all of them are not only hurting, but they're also farming. And Rams is finally. finally. <laughs> they will have the firepower, even though Pablo did go in for a little bit of a tower dive there. They do manage to secu finally secure Rams. But luckily, he's going to be back with full HP, which he hasn't been on for the past five minutes. <laughs> so, Can he get more? Pentomim might go Yeah, down it could be too. They are burning him down, but oh, Rabel, he's not Look taking this lightly. Rotates in as soon as that level 6 arrives and cuts down through, uh, through Seabay. Well, I mean, yeah, you l win some, you lose some. Uh, I guess... Still, so, I'm scared of the Timber Saw. This guy is looking right now a lot more scarier. Pablo, he will take down his courier though. Definitely something to be angry at. You can just place the Swin in the jungle and wait the lane to be pushing once again. So you can de-escalate the issue with that. But it's, yeah, it's pretty tough to show on the lane. Uh, oh, oh Rainbow, but he decided to show up on the lane, takes down Hanskin inst instantly. Nice double bind with a double silence, Rainbow. The whirling death. Oh, the chakra. He's gonna take down both of them. And Sibe a little bit too late to this party. They're not oh, actually no. gonna lose anybody there, even though I think it was Rust Farmers who picked up on this aggression. Uh, no relocate. So they gotta be careful with that. They got some nice early. Uh, blink dagger on Pablo, so they are looking to, you know, they haven't shown him on the lane just yet, so they are looking to uh, surprise Liga team with the freshly bought item, but oh, nice uh, the words. discipline is there from Liga. Yeah, they will pick up with the initiation lasso, but Pablo is going to be stopped in this track. Freezing field is going to be used up until Pantomime dies out, but they bro broke their initiation. Pablo did not manage to find the lasso target he was looking for. They also forced out the primal split there. A drop down vision as well as a mid lane at, uh, right now. But maybe they have actually. Did, yeah, they actually saw that ward being dropped out. That's antique. I think it's gonna be in some huge trouble once the stampede, stampede. is gonna be applied. The yeah, they're is there, but gonna stop as well. him down. Pablo closing in on to Pantom, but no lasso is available. And it's. It's an okay trade off, even though Hanskin is gonna be the last uh, right click to take down the CM. Oh, oh, oh Rabel! Oh, they will there? stop him from going on the other side of the Twin Gate. The Pulverize will go through. He will survive the duration thanks to the Whirling Chakram that is there. One Jake coming in. There will connect with a double silence. Pablo will be once again to die. Rabel is barely alive, but not for long. He will be eventually taken down, but they have Ramses ready to come in. There's the cleave damage popping up, but it's actually not enough. Without a frontliner, there's not much you can do. Hold down. BKB is surviving through everything. And. He is willing to fight. He, no, actually, he's gonna TP out. Oh, oh no! No, he's not gonna TP out. Liga. Just a matter of some. Yeah, on Liga team, it was really on the. On the it, was really, it, was, it was really bad that they had to fight in this without the. Once again, they will force out Pablo for the jump, but the freezing field will be there to greet him. Seabay, as well, in the middle of that pantomime, is looking low, try, but still using himself as a distraction. To prolong Sype as much as possible, and he's still the, this crystal maiden survived through everything. And he goes down, Pablo goes down, Sibe, he is left all by himself. And Liga are gonna compensate that awkward team fight with a nice turn of events. Three clean kills. Mm, how do you feel about the BKB as an item on Jerry? Oh, never mind, they are smoking up here. I'm gonna be getting back to into this yeah. question of Pablo, he doesn't have the lasso initiation, but tries to latch on. They will connect on to both of them. Hold down. Oof, not gonna connect on to a lot of targets. Ramses is gonna find safe passage to close and down goes uh, 1G. Down goes BP though in the hands of Shad as this guy is hurting during the duration of that BKB. But now... Are they gonna keep up? Actually, Liga are gonna disengage. They have their eyes on Pantomime though, who tries to hide in the Glimmer TP. Yes, it's He's gonna fine. be successful, even under a freaking ward. You don't have a strong lockdown on uh, the side of uh, Rest Farmers. I still haven't... Have you ever... Did you see a rocket being popped up or anything of that sort? Or they're just solely relying on the lasso? 
I, I, I think the rocket just hit the strand during his BKB, so... And they will try to get something out of it. I, I'm still trying to, uh, to justify it, you know, that's why I've been a little stuttery. But it, it's, it, I don't know, it just feels like a filler item. Uh, filler item. Re regarding the, the fact that there is satanic in, in this game, you know, it freaking exists. And you are a heavy... Uh, oh. Damage dealing it would have been better, but still. Attempts for a Roshan is gonna be stopped. As Liga are trying to intercept, Pablo throws in the... Throws in the lasso onto 1J. Pulverize, Ramses, he's gonna survive throughout the duration of the BKB and he's chasing on to Chad. Using field in the back side, goes back into one. Two down on the side of Res Farmers. Liga half forced out one buyback. Chad, yep, oh. he's gonna TP away back to safety. Pablo intercepted and knocked down by BP as well as Sibe. He will be found. Three on the four on the price of one and Roshan has really a bit more uh, prompting, uh, a bit, bit of bit of a better hero than it was or than it was already with the Daedalus he's getting a pretty high boost to his damage and you can always hope for the big crits in the team fight. Um, oh yeah. The, the same applies to Shad as well because he got Daedalus on his own too. He's gonna go for the satanic Nexus. and for a divine right after. And then divine rapier. Yeah. No, divine is all or nothing. We're putting everything on the table. Soulbound once again, silenced and connected. No big the primal. It's easy. Take down on to two side. Well able to take the one J, but he is left to, he left himself out there in the open. And it's gonna be three easy kills for Liga. They have a They are not gonna be definitely sticking around them because they have to oh. relocate. But look at Liga, they are invading this triangle. Yeah, they're going in the back. I mean they completely missed out on the opportunity of finding Liga on their own side. And it does feel like Liga are gonna Oh, they're gonna stop them and on their way back home. BP losses his momentum as Pablo blinks away back oh, to Ramses. safety. Ramses is though out in the open. It's a bit weird. Yeah, BP, nice soul bind once again with the silence onto Primal Beast and onto Pablo. And BP will force out the Sampi to run off back for his life. Pantomim is the one, one target who is dropping super low here, but here comes Ramses with the cleave damage shot. He's in danger. Hanscan, will he be popped up first? But yes, answer is yes. Hunterman will die in oh, the back lines, though. They have the C Bay back in one shape and is one target easy for the takedown. And he's also a very crucial part of this. So they're not going to initiate until they have everybody. They're just, they did obviously bait out to some extent. I'm done. <laughs> uh, no, I, was, I was about to just only. Ah, uh, very cool. Ah, uh, <laughs> BB. They find a Jantix, try to slow him down. They would love to oh, force. Oh god, there's the Hex. Oh god, with the flamethrower. God damn it. There's your front lane, dead and gone. Oh, Ramses. Pablo. Oh god, god. It's the deleted. And they want more, oh. actually. They find Shad and Hanskin. They it's don't the have the Aegis, but they're gonna bait out the call down. Oh god. That's okay, I guess you have good. 20 seconds to say what you wanted to before it kicks off again. No, it's, it is not that important, we can over... Uh, oh, 98% win probability, <laughs> Gabon is really blasting the sides of the CIS team as they are really storming this high ground. Uh, look at Jable, he's positioning himself very aggressively, he would love oh, to jump in! There's the aggression, he wants to jump in at the first given opportunity without a tower. We want to go ham, and John Dick, he will find a target to pulverize, but it's gonna be unfortunately 1J, still a crucial member of the team. That Liga are not willing to fight without BP. Rocket is closing in though. Shad and the hands can still have eyes on Rams as they are on the run. They are drawing them really out in the open though. If right. they choose to play it out right. BP <laughs> pops the BKB though just to make sure he's safe and there's gonna be a rocket th thrown back. Given the chance about six minutes to be able to be back in a full force for defense. But the one thing I wanted to roll back onto is the prioritization of rest farmers of who they're gonna get a big lockdown on. The pulverize has mostly been used on 1J. Uh, wait, hold up. BP. They find Pablo right after they relocate. Oh god, this is gonna be ugly. Duty is okay, they're just gonna trade in handskin there. Realizing oh, that if man. Yeah, on a die back. But yeah, the prioritization. You don't really have any items against him. No Hubbard, no use, no four steps, and yeah. not even a butterfly. So 
This is a very good swan game. But and a BTB on six seconds. Chat actually uh, switching into the magic. Uh oh. Call down. Oh, it's not gonna find anybody. Pantomim. Pablo is gonna be the first one to go down. BP up in the air. We do have the Ramses for a little while. We'll to buy some time. Pantom and nice. Oh, oh my god. Jumping away though. They will take down Hanskin. Chad still in the open. BKB is keeping him alive, but no BKB. Hanskin tethering up for some extra support to give him a fighting chance. One J is gonna be the one to die, and it's gonna be Ramses, Ramses with an ultra kill. Will it be a rampage? Come on, no. <laughs> it's gonna be a double godlike. He can still get Cibay, it. Last that man standing, trying to take at least Pantomim down. Caught in the de rolling death and. Come on! Oh god! <laughs> He's gone. Oh, he disappeared for a second, and the rampage has been delivered, ladies and gentlemen. Ramses, and he will top it all off. Actually, yeah, okay. He's oh, gonna leave it on the ground for a second for a dramatic <laughs> effect, but guess what? I have a rapier right now. Oh god. Can they close this game out? Because yes. there's only one buyback available in the Bruma, so I think this might be it. It's looking like it. I don't know if they have that info. They know that the IO did force out a buyback as well as uh, the Primal Beast some time ago. Pablo burned down into smithereens. And yeah, they're going for tier 4s. They are willing to end it. Rest Farmers, they're going to call it GG because that was a very big, big of a punishment. The second that they lost the, the Divine Rapier. It was completely done for Liga. They will proceed even further into the European Pro League Season 17, where they will be facing off either Mouse or Saib. As for Rest Farmers,